Hey what's going on everyone, Pearfox here and in this video today we're going to be talking about GeForce Now April Guide. There has been a lot of advancement to the stability of the application and much more so stay around till the end of the video and we'll have a talk about it. Also we have a discord server, I'll be leaving a link in the description below for all of that. You guys can go and check that out. Also Pi has recently added Pi browser, I'm gonna be covering that in the topic separately in another video so stay tuned and use code BearFoxYT to start mining Pi on your Android devices today. I'll be leaving a link in the description below. And without wasting up any further ado, let's get started. Starting off with the video, firstly I wanna talk about updates. Firstly, this month's update takes more over to Mac and Chrome OS since Mac owners will now see latency reduced up to 16 milliseconds in all games. Also they have added adopted vSync that helps reduce stutter on poor network connection without affecting latency but with a set of games including CSGO, Apex Legends, Rocket League and Destiny 2 and they plan on to add these settings to more other games. Secondly, Chrome OS users can now create desktop shortcuts to launch games directly. They have worked a lot on bug fixes. I'll be leaving an image on the screen right now. They have been really working on it and just as we expected. With the settings part, there is not much changes from before. But if you guys haven't watched the previous guide already, I'll be leaving a link to the video in the i button or in the description below. Watch the video and it will help you. But I'll be adding a few things to GeForce now. That is if you go into your settings and you guys see the server location. Putting that on auto is way more better than manually selecting the servers because uh, they have added some trial servers such as Singapore and South Korea. Uh, these are for the Asian servers which uh, which you can't actually choose it from the drop down. But if you guys live in the Asian section, just try putting it on auto and tell me in the comment section if it worked for you or not. Also for the streaming quality, rather than choosing custom data, uh, data saver or balanced, try using competitive because competitive is the long distance king and even if you are playing sitting far away from the server this setting can save you from everything also guys i have made a video on how you can actually uh, enable direct mouse input for your geforce now so watch that video i have left a link in the description below for that video make sure to go and check that out it's gonna be drastically reducing your input delay to the game so I don't know if you guys have noticed it or not, but in the settings, in the connection part of GeForce Now, they have added the Epic Games. So what you can do is basically link your Epic Games profile and then you can get rid of signing in Epic Games each time you started playing Fortnite or any other game hosted or you own in Epic Games Store. So this is basically, I don't know if they have added it in recent update or they have added it ago that I have missed to cover in the previous video, but whatever, I feel that this is like completely amazing thing that you guys can let this app can offer to you guys and for some reason if it doesn't save your credentials don't worry just reinstall the app using a VPN make sure that your VPN uses an American uh, server so you guys can have the better version so that concludes today's video guys i hope that helps you make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button also don't forget to start mining pi as it is an amazing form of cryptocurrency i make guys like this every single week so just consider subscribing to the channel guys and if you want a more detailed guide comment down in the comment section below that you want a more detailed guide and i'm gonna be making it for all of you guys so this guy was just a brief overview of what has done in geforce now and if you guys wanted me to cover it briefly i'm gonna be doing it in the next video see you guys until then stay tuned keep watching Firefox, and peace out